friends welcome to my channel this week let's talk something inspiring let's talk something motivating so in this video today i'm going to show you some super simple ways of setting up and organizing your work desk at home so let's get started A workspace at home is like a personal spot whether you're working or not and it can be a space for you to not just work but also to rewind and get creative. So the first thing you need to consider is where you want to set up the workspace. So get your layout right and then see how and where you can fit in the essentials. So basically your work desk, your laptop, a printer if you need it, so on and so forth. Also, maybe choose a place where you get enough natural sunlight. Next, keep all your office supplies handy. Now, these are the supplies that you'll keep needing all the time. So make sure they are within your reach. So for that, you can use a nice little caddy or a stationary organizer. So here again, have the supplies that you absolutely need and which absolutely spark joy. So keep it minimal, keep it simple, keep it inviting. And then books. If you want to keep some books at your work desk, have a designated spot to keep those as well. Next, keep your workspace functional. Functional and efficient. Uh, for example, your work might involve a lot of printing. So maybe keep your printing supplies handy. Maybe your work involves a lot of writing. So maybe have a diary handy. Use a spike card because that way you can charge multiple cables, wires and cords and it won't look cluttered. Another tip is to put the wires of the laptop and printer behind the table that way it all looks neat and tidy. Talking about functionality and efficiency, it also makes total sense to keep your workspace simple. That way it's not overwhelming and instead it's welcoming and inviting. Next, take care of the paper clutter because that's something that can really mess up your workspace. So maybe have files or folders to keep all your important papers and weekly planners. Next, spruce up your workspace by adding some inspiration and adding some flair. It can be done by adding a beautiful photo frame, a coat, a lovely flower pot, some colorful diaries or stationary items, anything that really inspires and motivates you. And this brings me to a very important point here, customizing your workspace to your own style. Your workspace should be like a mini version of you. It should resonate with who you are and what you believe in. Last but not the least, reassess this area frequently. Your workspace is one corner of the house that can get cluttered, that can get messy. So maybe dedicate a day once in a week where you reassess the area and do a quick tidy up exercise. You know, with all the creative juices and ideas flowing, you want the workspace to look beautiful, you want it to look inviting, you want it to look creative that guys i hope you found this video useful give it a thumbs up if you liked watching it subscribe to the channel if you still haven't and i'll catch you around until then bye